ZMF in the house with this beautiful closed back. This is the atrium closed back, and I reviewed the atrium open and compared it to the Verite open a while back. I'll link to that. But I really enjoyed that headphone, and so uh, when I saw all the buzz from um, CanJam New York 23, uh, where uh, Zach and team were kind of auditioning this with folks, I was super excited to get my get my grubby little paws on it, get my ears on it. Um, and here it is, and this is in um, Cherry, which I think is going to be the stock color when it's released at the end of April. Um, and I think this one's going to sort of be price comparable to the open version. Um, and I think uh, Zach was saying it'll come out in an olive wood as well as uh, the Cherry, and olive wood will be a, a premium, but that there will be a... Um, a, a discount for the release as, as they often do when they drop new headphones. So check that out. All right. Um, speeds and feeds, 300 ohms, like maybe all, if not most <laughs> of the ZMF portfolio. Um, this one's right around the same efficiency as the atrium at, at 95 ish DB. Um, the cup shape's kind of interesting. Reminds me, it's sort of like a subtler version of like, um, a Sony MDR R10 kind of shape. I had that uh, ES uh, R10 from ES Lab guys, which is like a tribute to the uh, MDR R10. Um, and I enjoyed some, you know, interesting spatial qualities in terms of the presentation. The Atrium already has its kind of interesting spatial dampening system thing going on. So doubly spatial, maybe. Um, Otherwise, you know, uh, standard, very lovely ZMF build um, with your yokes and rods and metal bits or magnesium, depending on how you spec it and your choice of your leathers and your straps and all that. And of course, pads. We'll talk about pads in a minute. Um, these have the suede's on right now. Uh, <clears throat> so, how's it sound? Well, you know, you put it on and they just they just suck you right in. Um, I've there's a noise. I've often been um, enthralled by ZMF headphones that I put on my head. I think um, I will uh, again have now reviewed <laughs> all of the ZMFs in production because I have a, a Caldera review coming as well. Stay tuned. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's fair to say that the, the overall presentation that the, the, the sort of quote unquote house sound that ZMF goes for does does align well with my, my, my personal taste. Um, you know, that might be like a subtle V, some nice pronounced uh, mid bass, um, good energy in, in the upper region. Um, so yeah, I, I put them on, they suck you right in, you're into the music, you're not really thinking too much about the headphones at first, you're just kind of like getting into the room, getting into the music. There is just this, you know, speaking of the room, there's this fantastic sense of space that was obviously very true um, for the open back atrium as well. Um, but you just do not feel like you're listening to a closed back headphone with these. I mean, that's probably the, the top headline for these and, and the takeaway and the achievement here is it, it doesn't give you any of that sort of, you know, limited sense of space or claustrophobic vibe that you get, um, with, with, and you know, not that that's always bad. Like sometimes that intimacy is fun. And I think you can push that on these if you're going for it. Um, but you know, that, um, you, you, you don't have that necessarily that distinct trade off as much when you're going from an open back to a closed back. The, the vase though, um, is deep and it is impactful and it is tactile in that fun way that, that closed backs can, can do. That's pretty, harder I think for open backs to to really achieve in that same level of rumble and, and resonance um, where you just feel like you're in the base not observing the base um, it's got a great deal of, of you know kind of drive to it and impact I mean the, this headphone you know it moves I'm not gonna say like it is the f most like the fastest most dynamic and I think when I was taught when I was looking at this versus the the verite that's some of maybe the the difference in the trade-off um but it's got impact and it moves and if you're not like a being it with something <laughs> then you will feel um very satisfied in the amount of of sort of drive and forward momentum that it imparts to the music um the sound is it's big it's thick um, at times it feels a little bit crowded and I think that has something to do with the pads in my experience. Um, 
but you know I haven't heard the atrium the uh, atrium open in several months now so going from memory which is always a terrible idea um, so big grain of salt um, I want to say like these are maybe like a little touch less of that sort of layered spatial quality um, at least it doesn't stand out as much like I remember when I put those on that was like the first thing that jumped out at me and that sort of dual plane or dual sphere of sound that I was detecting in, in the atrium open. I don't hear as much in these, um, but like I said, they sound super spacious. So I don't know if maybe um, just the sort of parlor trick of that has worn off on me, or maybe it, it, it is a bit subtler uh, in, in these, which wouldn't be surprising because they're closed back. Um, but the benefit is that I do feel the bass is significantly bigger and more fun and more playful uh, in these. Likewise, I haven't heard the Verite closed in quite a while now, but I suspect my Verite open to uh, Atrium open comparison probably maps to my Verite closed to Atrium closed in that, you know, you're probably going to get a touch more speed, a little more tack sharpness with the VC, but it's going to be a sort of flatter, less dimensional sound, and you're going to get a little bit more fluidity uh, and, and and a bigger presentation and a maybe more natural presentation with the uh, Atrium closed. But didn't they be them? So that's just me BSing from memory. So big grain of salt on that one. Um, usage. So the, the pad shape on these is really interesting. It's really sculptural. Not sure how well that'll translate on video, um, but it's it's got, and you can maybe even see it a little more on the um, on the leather ones. It's just got. It feels like it's just got a lot of extra little form to kind of cup to the head. Um, and I'm not sure what the intention was there. I don't know if I remember that from the Verite open, but um, they 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 really lock in and create quite a nice comfortable seal um, on my head. Um, they came with the, um, this is probably the cowhide on, uh, and when I swat, swapped over to the, um, uh, bleh, I want to say velour, but suede, when I swapped over to the suede, um, I think it cleaned up the sound a little for me, maybe it deadened it a little, there was maybe less, um, you know, refraction, reflection happening, and so it, the sound got a, a little more separation, a little, like, quote-unquote cleaner. Um, which I, I preferred, I think, um, that, that sort of sense of maybe being, um, congested or crowded at certain points in the sort of mids to the lower mids region, um, that kind of went away for me, um, in the pad swap or maybe my brain just adjusted, who knows the stuff is, this stuff is subtle, right? So, <laughs> um, uh, so placement on the ear also matters. I found that like where you position the cup. Uh, on your ear would, would change the, the sound a lot and, and really change the behavior of that sort of spatial quality. And so getting that placement dialed in um, was also really important, I think, to getting the most uh, out of these. Um, I talked a little bit about build, uh, which is great, and this cherry is really very pretty. Um, and then, of course, you know, I'll always give uh, ZMF and any other headphone manufacturer nods if they stay consistent with their connectors and use a connector that is readily available which ZMF does. Um, amplification, ch -ch 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 -ch. I, you know, per usual, tried this thing with a bunch of different amps. I think um, it speaks actually to the um, the capability and, and how much uh, resolution this headphone has that you really do feel different amps dramatically. And so if you wanted to push the intimacy and and bring the singer closer in and forward bring the mids forward and you know have that more sort of intimate in your head closed back kind of listening experience then um actually i think the um deckware taboo was the winner for me there um at least with the tubes that i have in there right now it just um it just really became this great beautiful intimate um you know listening experience and then if you want to sort of play up that big spatial separation thing um you know i actually think i actually think a cleaner maybe a little bit leaner but sharp solid state amp might be a good way to go um i think i've almost always preferred every uh zmf on uh tubes like i prefer almost everything on tubes um but i actually thought if you wanted to play that up um something that like i said was a little leaner crisper really pushing the the detail and and the dark black backgrounds to get that full sense of separation helped sort of play that side of this headphone up. So kind of, you know, depending what, what you want in your, uh, 
atrium closed listening experience but overall you know um i'd say another 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 winner from the from the folks at zmf um super excited to see this thing in a bunch of cool woods in the future like you got this nice big closed cup now with no grill in there to do some cool stuff with so it'll be, be fun from a design perspective to see what cool stuff um um, comes out and you know you, you know you do see a little porting on this but it's not like with the um atticus or something where you've got the much bigger port so that's really a very closed um design so yeah it'll be really cool to see what they do with this canvas in the future uh anyway um like i said caldera review coming soon also link um to the full zmf playlist if you want to go back through and figure out which one's right for you they're pretty much all in production which is very cool um so um there are certainly tiers i think in the zmf line of um capability but uh when it comes to preference they're kind of all over the map at least within the the envelope that is the zmf house sound so lots to kind of choose from to 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 align to your your preferences all right y'all let's sign craft signing out